gym and I wanted to hop on here quick to talk about how to keep going and the strength and faith you need when things are going wrong in your life. So this is something that's very powerful to me. I'm just going to wait a second for people to join in. Hey guys, let me know in the comments where you're watching from. Thank you for joining me in the nighttime. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to go off on a rampage right now. What it requires from you to keep going when things are going wrong in your life. There is somebody in this live who needs to hear this right now. Because anybody can hold faith. Anybody can hold belief in themselves. Anybody can do the things they need to do when things are going well. But how do you show up when things are going wrong? And not just when one thing is going wrong, but maybe when everything is going wrong. When your spouse and you are fighting, when your kids are getting in trouble, when work slows down and you don't get as big a paycheck as you expected, when you're late on bills, when you're late on your dreams, when, you, when you're late on something and stuff's just not pulling through, how do you show up in those moments? It takes a lot of strength and a lot of faith to look at those situations and say, I still believe in myself. To not get our identity attached and caught up in the external. To say, I am still worthy despite what the evidence around me is showing. Because the evidence around me is kind of showing me that I'm a failure right now. The evidence around me is kind of showing me that I'm not worthy of love, that I'm not worthy of this paycheck, that I'm never going to be that millionaire that I aspire to be, that I'm never going to have a healthy, happy relationship. I've been in these toxic, abusive ways. I've been late on my bills. I've been stressing. I, I haven't figured out the next thing yet. The evidence is clearly showing me that I'm a failure. How do you keep the faith in yourself? How do you keep the belief in yourself when everything around you is telling you to give up? And I've definitely been there. And sometimes, sometimes even though I've built up so many skill sets that when I get in these tough places, I start to question my own self. Am I prepared for what the next level has for me. Because every single time that you're about to level up, life hands you some lemons. Life hands you some lemons and it says, go on, show me the lemonade. Because life doesn't want to give you lemonade. Life gives you lemons so that it, you can make your own. And at every level, there's a new devil. Okay, so if you are someone who has big goals, big dreams, or you just, your big goal, your big dream right now is just to get to the next step to get out of the muck, to get out of the dirt, you're going to be challenged. You're going to be challenged because your resolve has to be as strong as your dream is. Your faith has to be as strong as your next step. Your faith has to be as strong as your reward that you're seeking. You can't be rewarded if you don't have the faith for it. Because every new level has a new devil, has a new challenge. It never gets easier. You just get stronger. And that's the type of thing that we have to teach ourselves as we're growing. We can never stop learning. We can never stop pushing ourselves to new heights and, and start to think that, oh, now because I've gotten to this next level, I can just ease up. It's, it's relaxing into the fact that you know that whatever happens externally, it won't impact you internally. That is the true stoicism. That is the true definition of faith that is the true definition of being a, a truly masculine man is knowing that the external isn't your identity it's not your job it's not your finances it's not what if anybody loves you or not it's who you choose to be and show up as every single day of your life and how do you keep pushing and how do you keep persevering and how do you believe in yourself when nobody believes in you man the the bill man doesn't even believe in you. He's coming around, knock, knock, rent is due. Rent is due and you don't have anything to your name. You don't have faith. You don't have commitment. You don't have purpose. You don't have passion. You don't have mission. You don't have two cents to your name. You have no assets, nothing. Who are you going to choose to be in that moment? Are you going to choose to be broken? Are you going to choose to prove them right? Who are you going to choose to be? I found myself in these positions more times than I would like to say, but as many times were as necessary for me because I asked for them every single time. I have asked God, okay, God, I'm ready for the next level. Whether you believe in God or not, whatever. God, universe, whatever. I'm ready for the next level of my life. I know that I have big dreams and big goals. 
when I first started off posting videos on social media and getting a lot of hate, I had like 4,000 followers, I had nothing. And people were hating on me. Don't ever listen to this girl stitching my videos. She's just trying to tear down men. She doesn't know what she's talking about, blah, blah, blah. And I took that to heart. I was like, I'm just trying to help people. Man, I would cry. And I'd be like, I'm going to give up because this sucks. And then I said to myself, if I want Jeff Bezos level of success, because I do, then I have to be willing to withstand Jeff Bezos level of hate. And that changed it for me. I stopped listening and taking everything so personal. Everybody takes things so personal. Whether you're in a relationship with someone, whether your kid's teacher is dogging you or your boss is dogging you, you know, the person on the street, the dog, the dog you have is dogging you, you know, looking at you every day like, oh my God, this guy's my owner. You know, like whoever is dogging you, stop taking it so personal because everybody's coming from their own perspective. And the only thing you can do, the only thing responsible for you to do is to move forward and push forward. And I said, yes, I want Jeff Bezos level of success. You can take that as you want. Some people in here are going to hate that. Be like, oh, Jeff Bezos is so selfish. You don't want to be successful like him, blah, blah, blah. Because they're in the perspective that money is evil. They're in the perspective that, you know, all rich people are terrible people. Whatever you want to have, that's your perspective. I choose to live in a world that I create myself. And I have big dreams and big goals. And whatever your big dreams and big goals are, you have to embrace those and say, whatever the lessons are that come with this dream, I am willing to take them with full faith. You can take my car away. You can take my money away. You can take everything away that I attached my identity to, but you're not going to take my identity because I'm claiming that back. And I'm saying this to you guys as men because many, many men that I work with have attached their identity to external resources. What kind of dad are they? What kind of job do they have? How much money do they make? What kind of car do they drive? And they get to the midlife where none of it matters because all of a sudden they're empty nesters or their wife has left them and they have no mission, no purpose, no passion. They don't know who they are. None of it matters anymore. So I'm not saying that you shouldn't chase money or cars or anything like that. But I think you need to have a purpose to back it, a purpose to fuel it so that it doesn't get taken away. Because I guarantee you, if you create your success from a place of needing fulfillment from that identity, it gets taken away because as soon as God sees you're worshiping another master, as soon as the year, as soon as the universe sees that you're relying so heavily on something else to tell you who you are, it takes it away to show you that you are not that thing. Whether it's a relationship, whether it's money, whether it's a job, that is exactly what's going to, some people in this room are going through this right now. And they are like, dude, I worked so hard my whole life to achieve this dream. And now it's gone. Now it's gone. What do I do now? Now it's gone. I don't know who I am anymore. I want to give up. You're sitting there and you're saying, I want to give up. I'm a loser. I hate myself. I hate my life. I'm an idiot. No one likes me. My wife left me. I'm lonely. All women out there. And then, then you start victim. Then you start playing in the victim mindset. All women out there are terrible. All they do is take all my money. You know, they, the world hates men right now and I can't get a good job. You start playing into this narrative of what you hated before because you're in a bad rut. So I want to tell you guys, we need to change the perspective. Who are you when things get rough? Every single time you want something better, things are going to get a little rough because the universe needs to know that you mean it. And I'm telling you this, I'm giving myself a pep talk too, because I've gone through this many times. And every time I go through it, I, I, I'm always prepared now. Before I used to freak out. Whenever I would raise my prices or change my content a little bit, it would be like, okay, I have this gut feeling that this is what I need to do next. And when I would do it, I would have a period where I would make no money, my followers would drop off, and I'd be like freaking out like, was that the right decision? Because now I feel like I'm losing everything. But we need to remember that you need to create space for something new to come into your life, for the blessings to fall into your lap. You cannot hold on to what is old if you want something new. 
And right now I've been asking for the biggest thing I've ever asked for. I said, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to have my own show now. I'm ready to have my own show. I don't want to do one-on-one -on -one clients. I don't want to do any of that. I just have this feeling. But all my money, that's where it comes from. This is my full-time job, guys. This is my full-time job. So what's happening? The gap. The limbo. All of a sudden, nobody is seeing the content. Even though I'm pushing harder than I ever have. Why is that? Right? Something is changing. And then I realized, oh my God, all of my identity is caught up in this. Suddenly I realized that if the numbers go down, I start to feel down. Suddenly I realized my relationship was falling apart, right? My relationship with everything. I've just committed to a new apartment and then all of a sudden my follower count goes down and, and I freak out. What if I'm not making enough money, right? Life is going to throw those things at you. When you've taken the biggest risk of your life, it's going to make it seem even riskier, it's going to make it seem even riskier. And it's going to say, where's your faith now? It's going to say, where is your faith now? I thought you had so much faith in yourself. I thought you had so much belief in yourself. Where is it now? And you have to say it's still here. Because I wouldn't have had the calling. I wouldn't have had the gut feeling. I wouldn't have had the dream if it wasn't made for me. And you have to say to yourself, I meant for something. God, universe, whatever. Make me the star I am meant to be. Allow me to fulfill the purpose I am meant to have. I am going forward with the faith I know that is within me. You don't need it externally. You don't need to buy it. You need to create it within yourself. At whatever position you're at in your life right now, that is the exact position you need to be in. And some people aren't going to want to hear that because they're in a very bad spot. But bad spots can also be blessings. Bad spots can sometimes be the greatest blessings we ever had because they force us to face ourselves. And rock bottom ain't so bad because guess what happens at rock bottom? All you can do is go up. Rock bottom means there's no lower place, baby. There's nothing but positive outcomes after that. And I like positive outcomes. So sometimes I start thinking to myself, well, if this is rock bottom, I guess I have nothing but good things to look forward to. And that's okay. So where is your faith when the bad times are coming? You need to 10x your faith in yourself, your faith in your intuition, the work that you do, and the perspectives that you have. Some people are saying it's hell out there, right? Some people, some people are, are still caught up in, in the fact that they're suffering. But you choose your suffering, and you only have to suffer for as long as you choose to do so. And I know some people are going to like really hate me for saying that. But we'd make choices every day. And at some point, you're going to get sick of the struggle. At some point, you're going to get sick of crying. At some point, you're going to get sick of the depression. At some point, you're going to get sick of the anxiety. And you can say, you know what? This actually showed up here to teach me what's next for me. To teach me that I'm more worthy than this moment. We have anxiety and depression, not because we're supposed to live with it. Whoever told you you were supposed to live with anxiety and depression is off their rocker. You're not born with anxiety and depression. It accumulates in your life because things in your life are not in alignment with your soul purpose, with things that you're supposed to do. And what do we do? We eat medicine like gumdrops, just trying to numb it out, just trying to live with it. You're not meant to live a mediocre life. You're not meant to live that life. How about that? What if somebody said, why don't you just change the things that are depressing you? Maybe you don't have control over all of them, but you do have control what you have control over. And as soon as you give yourself that power back and just say, I'm taking control now. Thank you, depression, for showing me. Thank you, anxiety, for showing me that this is not a fucking good environment. If you have anxiety all the time, you are in an unsafe environment for yourself, for your nervous system. Your nervous system is literally telling you, hello, hello. I, need, I do not belong here. This is not safe for me. And people are saying you have to live with that? Who said you had to live with that in a dangerous situation for your nervous system? That's, that's beyond insane. Okay? So we have to figure out, A, how to take care of ourselves, how to comfort ourselves, how to nurture ourselves. We also, part of that is listening to what that is telling us. Those emotions are not the enemy. Depression is not the enemy. Anxiety is not the enemy. The enemy is people telling us that we have to live with it and there's no cure and just to take some medicine instead of looking at the reality of your life, which is you don't like your life. You don't like your life. You don't like yourself. And it's okay not to like yourself. Maybe you're not, maybe you're not good as you are. At every level that I'm at, I need to be better than what I am right now to get to the next level. I'm not good enough right now for the next level. 
but I'm leveling up. I'm not going to let that get me down. I'm going to push. I'm going to learn. I'm going to strive. And that's what I want you guys to do. I want you to push, to learn, to strive, to reach for the next level. Okay? So I know I'm going off on this tangent, but it's really so important for you to believe in yourself enough to do something about it. And I know some of you guys aren't super familiar with me. Maybe you're maybe you're a new follower, a new listener, whatever. Um, but if you need further support, I offer all of these free videos. Um, there's free masterclasses for you to learn how to self-regulate. If you want to be in a community, join the Better Man membership. That link is in my bio. We have a free men's mental health summit coming up at the end of February. You can DM me the word free. I'll send you a link for that. If you want to watch the masterclasses, all of the masterclasses that I've created with the community, but you don't have the funds to join the community, DM me the word first month. DM me the word first month or best, and and you'll get it for only 10 bucks. 10 bucks a month, it never goes up, and if you decide you wanna join the community, that link will be sent to you as an option. But I'm offering so, so, so many options for you guys because I know exactly what it's like to be at a different price range in my life, to not know where to go next, to not know who to trust, to be so low on your internal world that you're just like, dude, like if I gave up, nobody would care. You know, you guys saw you guys saw me. This is a real moment right now. I have a real moment. Is it okay if I have a real moment with you guys for a second? Um, I'm not sure how real I want to get because some <laughs> some people from the Better Man group are in here, but I'll just be real as hell. You know, like everybody sees me traveling. I've been a digital nomad for the last four years. And the whole time I was a digital nomad, traveling these different countries, feeling cool, going to these different cafes, meeting all these people. You know, everybody knows on the surface that that life can be lonely, but I don't think people know to the extent of loneliness it can get when I didn't have a foundational family to begin with. All my life I've been lonely. And so when I went on these trips and it was exasperated and I was in a really toxic relationship that was very verbally abusive near the end, you know, all the time when I'm out doing that stuff, I just wanted to kill myself. I don't know if I'll get canceled for saying that on here. But like, I feel like so many people want to off themselves. And I don't want to normalize it by any means. But I don't see it as much of a mental health disorder as it is just a cry for like looking at the things in your life that you need to change. Because it's not that you want to actually die. It's you're so exhausted with keeping up the same status quo. You're so exhausted with trying to be good enough. You're so exhausted with doing the same thing day in and day out that it's like, you just don't wanna do it anymore. I just wanted to give up. It's not a surprise for anybody in here to say I just wanted to kill myself. Because like you said, we've all felt that way, right? It's not a surprise anymore because a lot of people right now want to do that because they're so exhausted. And I don't want you to be in such an exhausted place that you forget how good your life gets to be. Your life gets to be so good. You don't even realize how good your life gets to be. Every day of your life should be the best day of your life. And I want to offer you that opportunity. Please show up here every day for the content. I don't care. Find a coach who's not me, who you can connect with, who helps you get to the next level. I don't care. But I also offer the resources. Like I said, you can DM me the word first month or best or free. And I have options for all of those. You want access to all the master classes to watch when you want to learn topics from um, knowing how to be better in the bedroom to masculinity to how to get her in her divine feminine to how to handle your emotions. DM me first month and you'll get all the master classes for only 10 bucks a month. And then if you want to join the community for 99 bucks a month, then you can upgrade from there. And then you can talk to men and me every single Sunday and now Wednesday. Now we have a Wednesday one where we just shoot the shit. Um, but that's the thing. Resources and opportunities are available for you. And you don't know how good your life gets to be yet. Do not give up on yourself. Do not give up on the fact that, you know, these opportunities are there for you. Obviously, I don't have all the answers, but I'm not the only one who's teaching in the group. I have so many people who are showing up for these men every single week. We have a new speaker every single week. 
every single week. This week we have Jimmy coming in. Jimmy's going to help us plan out our goals for the entire year. And he does that for a living. So he's an expert in that. I get, um, I get experts from all different realms. Okay. So, um, yeah, tomorrow's Thursday. I mean, it's supposed to be Wednesdays, but yes, tomorrow's Thursday. Actually, I'm not going to be able to do it next week either. So thank you, Jay, for pointing this out. <laughs> Jay's in the community. He's amazing. Um, someone, I'm sorry, guys, I'm just reading the comments here. Someone said, I can hear Jimmy. You know him? That's amazing. I love Jimmy. Reading the comments. Anxiety and depression medication can also be a good tool to assist someone experiencing a major depressive episode for a short period, especially if you are experiencing suicidal ideation. Of course. Listen, I'm not saying that we shouldn't utilize all the tools available for us, but many times people are not encouraged to use it as a tool. They're encouraged to use it as um, the cure. And then they're on it for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, and they're still just meh. And you're like, when did you think it was going to start working for you? Because it's it's just a tool. It's just a tool to help help you balance things out, help you get a little bit of a different perspective, help you get some control. But we need to move all of the facets of our lives. And we need to take a more internal look if we actually want to make a change in our lives. Okay, so I'm just reading some of the comments now. I'm going to get off this live soon, but if anybody has any comments on that, any, um, you know, questions about men's mental health, please comment them below or else, like I said, if you DM me the word best, free or first month, there's options for all of that um, for you to get the support that you need and deserve. You know, the year of the man summit is coming up at the end of February with 11 plus different speakers talking about attachment styles, masculinity, um, just all these different juicy things just for men. And I'm so happy this is the third year that we're hosting it. And these speakers, man, they're just amazing. They're, they're popular people that you guys all know and follow. Um, so the fact that we've been able to build up the community this large to get these big speakers in here, to do this for free, is just insane. So man, don't let them down by not signing up. At least sign up. At least try to show up one day, one hour, you know, for yourself and to just show respect and appreciation to these people who volunteered their time because this is all for you guys for free for men's mental health. You know, so I'm just reading some of the comments, guys. Thank you so much for your patience. I'm a combat vet and I have PTSD and to be honest, I'm also in prison. Can you help me? If you click the free masterclass, I don't know how you're on this live right now. It's so confusing to me. But if you click this masterclass, Devin, um, in the link in my bio, I have a free masterclass that teaches you how to manage your emotions. And that might be a good start to help heal your PTSD because PTSD is the brain repeating a scenario because it doesn't have an end point. So if you can learn how to calm your body down and finish the story, you can help heal your PTSD. These are good questions, guys. What can a man do daily for better mental health? Watch, watch the free Men's Mental Health Masterclass. I actually give you a whole action plan. The reason why I say that is because you know, I think things are much better with context. I think they're much better with science. And in that masterclass, I teach you what's going on in your brain. Um, I teach you, you know, what's going on in your body, why things are happening, why you might get emotional at different points, why you might explode at some points. Um, I put it all together for you for free to watch that. So go watch that. And at the end, I tell you exactly how to calm your body down and exactly the daily schedule that you should do every day to help yourself. Or it's on like, I mean, I'm on like over a hundred podcasts. There's a playlist in my link in my bio on Spotify. You can listen to and in almost every single one of those, I give them tips. So don't be afraid to listen to those either. Um, but anyway, guys, I wanted to go on that rampage. Um, I love ya. I appreciate ya. Keep going, keep the faith and do not discount yourself on what's available to you. Take the offers that are available to you. DM me the word best first month or free. Sign up for all of them, and I'll see you in there, okay, guys? Peace.